Aloha, welcome to Is Magazine for Inspired Solutions. Our mission is to bring up topics in a broader context than uh, we normally get to do in our daily rat race routine. You know, we have top of mind issues around quality of life and, you know, how do we make a living in, in, in the world of commerce? How do we make a life uh, in, you know, in a society that, that uh, restricts many of our options and choices and freedoms? Uh, even not necessarily overtly, but through education, training, bias in the culture, uh, through just not the things that we avoid talking about, avoid thinking about. You know, in, in science and philosophy, some of the biggest questions for the past few thousand years are still not answered. We want to look at those questions and, and find the inspired solutions that may bring new concepts, new freedom, new uh, possibilities to, to our lives. You know, how, how does uh, the bird in the field live without commerce? Well, you know, we're, we're creatures, we're, we're, we have this animal nature, animal body and animal soul, although we have a higher nature as well. And uh, so we can benefit from both of those economies uh, in the natural order through natural law and a greater understanding of uh, who we really are and why we're here. Uh, so we don't fall prey to some of the, the tricks and traps uh, in the monopoly game that, that exists uh, for us, but not for our benefit. And uh, so let's dive in and, and you know see, see what the possibilities are. In the healing work I've been doing the last 30 years, we've broken through many barriers of, of issues that, that weren't supposed to be able to, to heal. Uh, but <clears throat> approaching them rather than rather than from the point of view of I'm the doctor, how can I heal you? Uh, <coughs> and 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 realizing that doctors don't heal, uh, so you know why why do doctors mostly die? Uh, the average doctor is dead by the time they're before they're my age now, and I was supposed to be dead nearly 20 years ago uh, due to heavy metal toxicity. Heavy metals normally build up in the body to get to higher le higher and higher levels as as animals get older, but yet you know, it's possible for a, a, a creature, an animal, to swim against the tide. Uh, you know, salmon goes up waterfalls. <laughs> so, but there's there's things that we need in order to accomplish those kinds of feats. We need uh, the support of a natural environment, natural energies and substances and stimulation that, that are there, are here for us in, in this world. We don't need to go out and create new synthetic compounds that are generally, you know, we're certainly not adapted to genetically. There's no, there's no reason or logic or, th or theory that can tell us that, that a synthetic drug uh, should be beneficial to our biological organism. They've never coexisted together. There, there, there's no adaptive uh, state between the two. So, uh, you know, why is it that every time the medical system goes on strike, it's been at least three times around the world that I've seen, uh, including California, so it's not just uh, other countries like Israel and South America, but the same all around the world. The, the, it's not only bad for the economy because, you know, the, uh, there's less money flowing through the medical system, but it's bad for the economy of the undertakers because people stop dying as much. Well, interesting. You know, why is it that, that, that our medical system, our way of treating the body, treating health, supposedly, but really treating disease, treating symptoms, you know, treating the, the, the tail, trying to, you know, the tail wagging the dog, uh, instead of building health and supporting the body to heal itself, which is what it does every day. Uh, we put in toxins, we, we cut into the body, we do controlled damage, which is the definition of surgery thinking that somehow that's, well, it's, they call it managing disease. It is. It's managing disease for maximum profit, actually. It's a profit-making. The most lucrative industry in the world is the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, the average cancer case is, you know, quarter million, half million dollars. It's uh, insane that, that, that we get a 2% uh, survival rate at five years, same as it was <laughs> before the war on cancer. But we have way more cancer than we had then. So we're doing nothing about the cause, or the multiple causes. Life is multi-causal. So, so these are the kinds of issues that we're, we're gonna dive into. Uh, we need to change the culture from a culture of death to a culture of life. 
and uh, I'm, I'm confident that this is a change that, whose time has come. It is happening. You're part of it. We're part of it. And we're got, glad to have you uh, in our family because we're all one spiritual family here on Earth. It's a small place when you look at it from, from space, from the vastness of, of you know, the divine perspective. Uh, we're small and yet we're, we're, lar- we're great in terms of the, what we've been given. We have this uh, self, you know, autonomous regulation of the body and spirit. So not only uh, a, a mortal physiology of, of the carbon copy bio body suit here that we inhabit, but the uh, the ormus based or um, superconducting uh, physics of of of. Uh, Condensates of the Bose-Einstein condensate that uh, you know not only exists in the laboratory at near zero degrees Kelvin, but exists in biological temperatures within our body, and it's what's carrying consciousness, so the the Holy Grail, the vessel of consciousness that's immortal because of its superconductivity, its superfluidity. It can go in and out of the body. It can have out-of-body experiences, near near-death experiences. I know I've had a number myself throughout my life, and and met angels and, and been given uh, personal prophecies that came true between two and 20 years later. Uh, so lots of stories, <laughs> lots of stories we can share on, on the truth that there's more in heaven and earth than are uh, met in the philosophy of, of uh, controlled government education. So <laughs> let's, let's move forward together and create a new earth, new heavens. Welcome.